Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and today I'm jumping into my traveler's notebook. I'm so excited. I've only got three spreads to do and then it's done. My first ever insert finally completed. So today I'm using the uh, Citrus Twist Pocket Life Kit for February and it's a, a kit, a monthly scrapbooking kit that's designed for Project Life, but I like to use it for whatever I freaking want to because honestly it's paper it's stickers you can use it for whatever projects you like um, I like to kind of push the boundaries of products and use them for things that they weren't intentionally designed for so today I'm scrapbooking some well not scrapbooking I kind of do scrapbook in my travelers notebook though I will admit that uh, I'm what can we call it travel noting I don't know I'm documenting uh, some photos of both Archie and I. So these first big ones are of me probably when I'm, I'm guessing I was like three maybe and it was Easter time and I had bunny ears on my head uh, and then the other photos of Archie have one of my Inky Quill uh, merchandise onesies that I've got over on inkyquill.com that say some bunny is ready to get scrappy with a little bunny rabbit on it and I just I accidentally found them both together and I just thought they'd be the perfect pairing of photos uh, for today's layout because it, they're both very bunny related and you know what I don't use a single bunny on this page I kind of go for the floral because my mum is in that bottom photo with me um, and we're both wearing floral dresses. Not much has changed. I still, I would totally wear that dress now if it came in a giant human size and not a little child size. I love vintage floral fabric. I did a little while ago, probably six months ago, went on a trip to Spotlight, um, our craft store with one of my good friends and we picked out some fabrics that we both liked and I did buy a lot of vintage florals. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with them yet, but they're there, they're waiting. A project will pop up in my head soon enough. So first off, I'm going through the cut apart sheet that's included in the kit and cutting out some labels and things to use. The first step that I always have when I do my traveler's notebooks, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I always stick my photos down first because they're usually the biggest item on my pages. Then I go a bit sticker crazy and I stick and plonk as many things as I want. Some days I stick a lot so I don't have to write too much. Other days I want to write a bit more. Uh, it's just whatever I feel like really. I'm cutting up some of this beautiful paper from Crate Paper. It was the paper pad. You get half a paper pad included in the kit and just some washi from my stash. Some beautiful gold glitter washi. I have no idea where I got that from. Probably eBay I'm guessing and I'm just sticking down that little strip of paper and I should also add if you're new to my channel I'm working in a uh, the Medo the Traveler's Notebook branded uh, insert book and it's the 003 which is just blank paper it's my first insert that I have com well I'm close to completing I can't say I've completed it because I've, as I record this, I've still got one last spread. I do need to film about six videos before I do another one, but I'm in the mood to get it finished. So I'm, I'm thinking of just filming a quick video this afternoon and doing one more page. Um, but I'm working in the, I don't know if it's still Midori. Well, it's the Traveler's Notebook brand, 003. And the actual cover that I'm using is from Jane Davenport. It's a really pretty one and it's got three redheads on it. Uh, and I used to have really long red hair. So I still have red hair. It's just not as long anymore. So I do like uh, that insert. I think Aaron might've got it for me, maybe, possibly, who knows? So I'm just going through and seeing if there's anything else I wanted to add. I'm going to make a little embellishment. I'm obsessed with making DIY embellishments at the moment. I have quite a few videos over on my Patreon making um, these little embellishments and chatting away for up to an hour, I think some of the videos are. And they're just like the, they're just a fun little final touch to add to either your scrapbook pages, project life, traveler's notebooks, art journals, wherever you use paper or stick stuff on, you can use them for that. So I decided to, I was a bit lost with this bottom part. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to position the labels and this heart. I do, I always say go with your gut. My gut was a little bit unsure, but I did, 
I did eventually put it down there and I'm just adding this little love this up at the top there. I kind of like to overlap my layer, uh, my labels and my embellishments over my photos because I just think it makes it feel, the layout feel a lot more grounded. So that's a tip. If you're finding that um, your pages look like everything's floating around, you don't have to overlap everything, but sometimes it's nice just to overlap a couple of elements to, to make them feel like it flows a bit easier using some of the delicious hot pink tiny word stickers and any kit that comes out with tiny word stickers is an immediate favorite for me because I just can't get enough of them. I do, however, I've run out of my favorite brand of um, tiny word stickers. So I do have to find the Simple Stories Carpe DM ones are my faves. Uh, and I love also Citrus Twist also has a lot available in their shop. I know they're doing a bit of a shop renovation very soon or currently uh, so if you head over to the citrus twist website you might be able to find some of the final tiny word stickers that they currently have not sure if they're doing some more i really really hope they are because they have really nice ones too so i'm just uh this is a fail this flower is not a pretty flower it started off cute and then I got all liney and dotty and i just really didn't like the look of it and it was just floating. It was just in the middle of nowhere. I didn't know how to make it work. So I do end up covering up, but I saved, I kept it in here to show you that you can always cover up your mistakes. Just because you do something that isn't your cup of tea, uh, doesn't mean you can't just stick something over the top of it or slap a bit of paint over the top of it. If it's an art journal page, you can always cover stuff up. Don't think that you have to abandon the project before it's all done. So now I usually like to have like a big kind of scripty font word or phrase somewhere on my pages. A, it takes up a lot of space, which is nice. Uh, and B, I just like the look of it. So I'm using my Stadler pigment liners. This is probably the 0 0.8, I'm guessing. I did just get a new pen that I'm in love with. It's the uh, Food Ball 1.5 and it is thick. It is very thick and juicy too. It writes really beautifully over acrylic paint once it's dried, of course. And so that's a pen that I you may see creep into some more of my videos in the future. At When I filmed this video, my bags were still packed from a scrapbook retreat that I went to the other week. And uh, I'm going away on a scrappy weekend as I'm recording this voiceover the next week and i'm too lazy to unpack my bags in between so i'm working out of my bags and it's not it's not working well for me but i know that as soon as i unpack i'll just need to repack everything anyway so um i i don't know where that beautiful food ball pen is it's somewhere i bought three of them so i wouldn't lose them i was thinking of giving one to aaron we'll have to see i may lose if i lose the other two and only have one we might just have to share it <laughs> so i'm almost finished here just adding a couple of details with the stamping there um, I did cut out a tiny bit because I was fussing around with the stamps and putting them on the acrylic block for a long time. But I added some stamping on that bottom grey label as well as up the top next to that photo of Archie on the right. And also just here where I'm doing the hearts, I think I put uh, Just So You because it is, if you know me, if you follow our vlog channel, Mr. and Mrs. Rad, or my main channel, Inky Quill, uh, you'll know that I'm slightly bunny obsessed. If you're new to my channel, we have two little bunnies, they're house bunnies, and they're freaking adorable. They're like cats, and they come when they're called, and they're just scrumptious. So I, I knew that I had to scrapbook these photos of me way before I'd even met a bunny or had a love of bunnies at all. So thanks for joining me today, guys. If you'd like to see some more Traveler's Notebook videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.